next to an angel looking after her him her and him sorry Filipinos FYI we Filipinos especially immigrants like me it's very hard for us to use pronouns like he and she her and him why because in the Philippines we have one pronoun and it's gender neutral it's it's just yeah may it be a woman or a man or anything in between that spectrum we just call them yeah so yeah something new actually stay here forever and just chill and enjoy the sound of the water splashing and enjoy this park but I have to move on to the next area because we're exploring downtown Centro Historico today as well why because this is my last day here in Santiago and I want to make the most of it so let's go moving forward so we are at the exit or entrance, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, yeah, we're just right under the statue. And anyway, there's an expo ex exposition that's happening right under there. So it's all about the indigenous tribes that they have here in Chile and there's an exhibition that's going on um, you don't have time to explore it although if you can check it out it's free as well anyway stepping out and you're greeted with all this craziness traffic and street vendors even though it's not the weekend that's just really common here in Santiago capital um, a lot of people are just trying to find uh, trying to find ways to you know get money and feed themselves because it's really tough so yeah you see a lot of this um, clothing they're selling it I don't know if they are still because it is like just a park garbage right now but yeah that's another park right right here Actually, if you want to know who that guy that has a sepulcher up there, the Vicuña dude I was, I was telling you about, McKenna, the brainchild of the park, is that dude in the middle of the statue next to an angel looking after her, him, her and him, sorry, Filipinos, FYI. We Filipinos, especially immigrants like me, it's very hard for us to use pronouns like he and she, her and him. Why? Because in the Philippines, we have one pronoun and it's gender neutral. It's, it's just, yeah, may it be a woman or a man or anything in between that spectrum, we just call them, yeah. So, yeah something new this whole park is dedicated to mr. Benjamin McKenna I mean I think he deserves a park like this for brain, brain um, childing the revamping of how Santiago city looks like on my left side is the National Library of Chile it looks really cool although the entrance is actually on the other side this is the exit of that um, establishment I actually been inside it's free of course most if not all of the, the books that are that, that you can use are in Spanish although you can get um, internet access they have computers also hola hola bueno <laughs> they also have internet access inside and there's also computers where you can use for free. You just need to present a form of identification. I, when I went in, 
it's just my ID. They were asking for a passport, but I had an ID and that was fine. So our next stop is actually this nice structure behind me. This is the Municipal Theater of Santiago, Chile. So if you are looking to watch some concerts and any shows in place, this is the right place to go. Also right fronting of this is that beautiful Persian looking building. It used to be the residence of this place. It used to be the residence of the politicians here in Santiago but now it's converted to offices and actually there's rentals on that on that property now. So yep, municipal theater. There you go. Now onward to our next destination. And the chaos of the city center. That's what I've been telling you about. There's so much people and so much um, vendors on the street. I think we are on the right, not wrong. Right. Let's go to the other side. I will show you a street that's away from all of this hustle and bustle. Yeah, I'm holding my hand for my phone because you want to be really really safe once you're in here because pickpocketing it's gonna be crazy so just be mindful of your environment although I am filming myself so yeah so this is actually called New York Street and I don't know why they call it New York but just to show you the contrast so that's the crazy area you can go to this little pocket another packet of I don't know fighter and nicer is the keyword anyway yes so this is one of the nicest and oldest posher accumulation of buildings here with different architectural era it really reminds me of Europe when I'm in this um, alleyway. They even have a Persian women fountain on the corner. This is the fountain I was telling you about. And look at all this architectural designs. It's beautiful. My, my battery died again anyway um, use my phone so story story time about these buildings they used to be up to now actually still owned by the famous families here in Santiago and whoever stays here before are one of the richest people I think even up to now they own a lot of this really nice architectural properties in uh, the city center. There's this new installation. It's a sky bridge. You see it right there. That's fairly new actually. And um, yeah, it's functional. People use it to go from one workplace to another. This is also beautiful, it's painted. 
uh, right behind me is the Palacio de la Moneda or the presidential palace actually. This is where the president works but he doesn't live here. Just like Buenos Aires, they have their own homes unlike America where the president lives and works at the same palace. So fun fact about this palace, it's not actually an office for a president before. It used to be, that's why the Monedo, it used to be a coin factory for Chile. This is where they used to produce um, the coins for exchange before. That's why it's called Palacio de Monedo. So up to now, that's still used. Um, up to now, that the name is still used, although it is the president, presidential palace. And they actually have a fair happening. No, not a fair. National Congress of Chile. I really wish we can go in because it looks like a really beautiful space. But being that it is a very public um, security reasons, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. And now. We are at our final stop. We are at Plaza de Armas, and it is the heartbeat of all Centro Historico Santiago. It is where everything happens, literally everything. There is a church right there. That's a metropolitan um, church of, San, of Santiago, and it's really beautiful. We're going in inside a little bit. That's also the right there the central post office of Santiago Chile that's the National Historical um, Museum also and that's the city hall on the left so let's go inside the church and I'm gonna take a video but well, you know we have to be quiet There's this massive artwork right in the dead smack of the park. It's supposed to represent the struggle of Chile and its reconstruction. Right at the opposite end of the city hall, there's this one long beautiful building walkway. It's actually, if you go inside, it's keeping a secret. This is where the locals eat. This is where the famous hot dogs or the completos. This is where the stands are. And it's everywhere. So the traditional, local, famous, national food or street food is hot dogs here in Chile. So you get places like this where you just go in you get the order and you pay. Some people just eat on the sides. I tried this already and it was delicious. Also, they are famous for this guy, Italianos. 
So it doesn't have to do with the Italian style of cooking. It has to do with the color. The Italian color of the flag is white, mayonnaise, green, guacamole, and red for diced tomato. Hence the Italian color of the flag. So I'm going inside the plaza itself. And I would advise waving your phone like I'm doing right now because, you know, pickpocketing is bad here. Although they don't snatch your phone. I haven't seen people snatch their phone, but at night, of course, you don't come in here. You actually see children in the middle of the park enjoying swimming in the fountain and this really hot weather. That's what parks are for. So the city hall has flags flying on top every single day. And if you don't know, that's the flag of Chile, of course. That's the flag of the indigenous people, I think the Mapuche. That's the flag of Santiago. And no, that's the flag of Santiago. And that's the flag of LGBTQIA. Because why? Everything is welcome here in Santiago. Thank you, Santiago. So that's it for today's vlog, my travel friends. That's Centro Historico Santiago, Chile. And I'm ending it here today. I hope you found the content fun and informative at least. If you do have any other questions, you know what to do. Anyway, if you like the video, please like, hit the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around, travel friends. Ciao.